What's up guys, it's Trevor with Embers. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the Supreme product. So we have their built-in fireplaces, we have their freestanding stoves, and their fireplace inserts. Today we're gonna to, I'm gonna be reviewing all three of them, tell you the differences between them, tell you what I think of the brand overall. Let's go. So we'll start with the fireplaces. Don't forget if you're in the Denver, Colorado area, come to our showroom today. Check these products out for yourself. If you're new to our channel, follow us on TikTok, follow us on YouTube, thumbs up us, subscribe, do all the things. You have no idea how much it helps us. Okay, let's start with the built-in fireplaces. So the fireplaces, that's exactly what it means. It's gonna be built into a wall, so this would be for a remodel or a new construction with actual like studs or framing in the wall. And then there's gonna be built in. So they have three sizes. I think the 24, 32, and 38 Astra series. Now they're all EPA phase two certified. So that means they're EPA 2020. They meet current specs and regulations. So they're super efficient, super clean burning. They're gonna use a secondary air control system, which I'll show you on the inside instead of a catalytic combustor. Uh, the 24 is a little bit smaller. This is the 32, the medium size here. Now a big advantage with Supreme is gonna be the nice clear viewing window. So they have really big windows, nice clear doors, and of course the really clean modern look. So they use actual cast iron panels on the inside. So that's unique to something that Supreme does. They don't use fire bricks or, or what a lot of the other stove brands use. So this is cast iron and it's stamped either with the brick pattern or you can flip it around for a fluted pattern. And then you can see up in here, we'll show you this stainless steel reburn system. So a reburn system means it's gonna be dumping oxygen in the top of the firebox and then reburning the fuel. And that's sort of how it's creating efficiency there. Then this is gonna be our air control. So we have high and low. And then we can also set it uh, to automatic setting. So it's gonna automatically close and shut itself off based on the heat, which is also a really cool feature to them. Now the 38, which is one size bigger, physically looks identical. The biggest thing with the 38 is the side walls aren't tapered. So they're gonna be straight back versus tapered walls on the 32. That's the biggest difference between the 32 and the 38. Now cosmetically, you can do the faceplate two different ways. This is the queen face design which is by far the most popular. People that order Supreme, they're usually doing it for the nice modern clean lines in a wood stove or a wood fireplace. But what you have to understand is if you do the clean face front, which we don't have pictured here because our ceilings are open, but essentially we have to have grills. So Chris will show you an overlay on the computer. But you see you have air intake grills on the bottom and the top. Uh, and that's essentially for airflow with the clean face design. The other option is you can order it with more of the traditional faceplate, which is gonna have the grills built into the faceplate on the top and bottom, and then you don't have to sweat it. Sweat it, it's a fireplace, get it? Uh, you're not gonna have to worry about it. So there's two different ways to order the front, but keep in mind, if you do this, you gotta have you know, air return somewhere on it. All right, should we talk inserts? All right, so this is their insert. This is the 18, which is gonna be the smallest in their inserts. And you can see it's a little guy. Again, same principles, nice clean lines. We have the same air control system, but even though it's little, it has a nice big clear viewing window, which I think is important um, with a wood stove. What else I like about them is going to be the, the catch or the hinge system is gonna be on the outside of the firebox. A lot of times when this hinge system's on the inside of the firebox, it gets obliterated. So the fact that that's on the outside is nice. So that's gonna stay nice and tight in there. You can also do a stainless steel finish around this if you wanted to. Again, more of a contemporary modern design. And I have this really unique thing. I've had nobody ever buy it for this, but there's a little grill in there and they say you can barbecue with it. I personally have not tried it. I haven't even heard of anybody that's tried it, but you can technically cook in the inserts. So that's kind of a cool feature. All right, let's talk stoves. All right, so here's the Novo series. This is their stove. This is the Novo 38. So unlike the fireplace where the 32 and 38 are the same box, just the sides are different, this is not the case. The 38 is definitely by far bigger. It of course has enormous viewing area. And I'm six foot two and with this pedestal, like this is a big tall stove. Uh, if you want like a big statement piece, 
you know, that's gonna heat a big space, but also is very big and attractive and gonna be focusing on the fire. I haven't seen one quite this size that's gonna be able to do that. So all the technologies, again, the same here, all clean burning, all efficient. One big difference is, is on the Novo series, you have a different way to order it. So you can do it with uh, the cast iron panels that we talked about or soapstone panels. A lot of people think that I'm talking about the panels on the side, but it's on the inside. So this has soapstone and you can order either way with cast iron or soapstone. Now, what, what is soapstone? Soapstone is a natural material that uh, retains heat really well. So it's gonna retain heat a little bit better than cast iron. Just buy whichever one you think, the same price, buy whichever one you think is gonna look better aesthetically. These panels aren't quite as thick. You know, they're probably an inch or two thick. I think with the panels as thin as they are, you're not gonna see a performance difference between the soapstone and cast, cast iron. You're really not. Uh, if anything, I think the cast irons may be a little more durable long-term, but both are very attractive. And the bigger one, you probably see the soapstone a little more. So if you like the natural color of the soapstone, maybe go with that. But that's really your options with this guy. It's gonna come with a blower. And of course the 24 and 18 are smaller stoves and you do get wood storage below here. So why would you buy a Supreme? Uh, I have not redone my top five video yet. Uh, we have the old one if you wanna go back and watch it. These guys were not in there. If I were making this video today, I would put them in there. And I think they're just the best. They sort of fill a niche, right? They're made in Canada. They fill a niche where they're gonna fill that space of really clean, modern lines. If you're after a really modern stove, really clean lines, high quality, efficient, clean burning, big giant viewing area. That's why Supreme I think is a really good fit in those categories. So if you're in that category where you're shopping for a modern stove, definitely take a look at Supreme. They're one of my favorite modern wood stove brands, probably my favorite modern brand. So that's the Supreme. If you wanna see some of our other wood stoves, we'll include links below. We'll see you guys next time.